guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for joining me again today shout out to all my amazing members thank you so much for joining me again today shout out to amarachi shout out to kenneth shout out to addis shop i really appreciate you for being a supporter of this channel thank you so much for all your effort and support and also for my returning subscribers i really appreciate you guys for coming and for being here today thank you so much and if this is the first time you're joining me on this channel i say a big welcome to you welcome 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 in this channel we deal with recipes motivational we deal with everything inspirational as well as our lifestyle so thank you so much for joining me and i'm just going to dive in straight into today's recipe today's recipe is about a quick stew a quick stew more of um, um what do you call it a sauce you know i just want to uh, prepare my lunch and the family's lunch for tomorrow because uh, it's gonna be a long day so if you're looking for that fast recipe that will just help you straight out to just get your food let's say in the next 20 minutes although it depends on your preparation then i think you should stay tuned and continue to watch this uh, video so for the recipe we need tomato paste i have my choice of protein you guys know me on this channel i love obstacles a lot obstacles are important you know so I just dashed in to my freezer and I found a couple of stuff so I decided to like take a little bit of everything to just uh, get it done. So I have the cow food and then I have uh, cow skin which is momo in Nigerian language. I have fried fish and fried beef. Of course tomato, I already sliced them, scotch bun actually and then onions then maggie cubes i'm not going to be adding any form of spice or extra spices i just want to keep it natural so guys stay tuned and let's go straight into the cooking
that's the end of this video take a look at that if you observe I did not put a single drop of water here I did not put a single drop of water and then when I'm done I'm just gonna sieve out this uh, excess oil on top of it and keep it in my freezer for my next meal I don't uh, I have to use uh, I like try to increase the oil because if you don't increase the oil a bit it could burn the tomato depending on the kind of pot you're using so guys can you see that so lunch is ready for tomorrow so I'm going to be using this for for rice which I already bought and also for spaghetti for my kids so you see yeah so it's all done all done all done all done